if you have a dog who's nervous about being handled, you don't want to start off with handling them. You want to start at a place where they're not scared. So you might just start with approaches. And notice I'm not doing head on approaches either. I'm kind of at an angle. And this is my dog and she's not afraid so I can get pretty close. But if you have a dog who's really scared of you, you might even want to back up her approaches. Just toss treats when you're in the area and keep going. And once your dog is happy about you just tossing treats and moving on, then you can approach within say 10 feet or 20 feet, whatever the dog is comfortable with. I'll give an example, I'm approaching within about six feet here. I'm gonna to toss a treat and walk off. If the dog looks fine with 10 feet, then you'll stay at 10 feet until you see a conditioned emotional response or you'll back up further than 10 feet. You wanna make it easier or the same each time. But once you see your dog happy about you approaching at 10 feet, then you can approach a little bit closer, let's say five feet. And then one foot. And you don't wanna do all this at one time or in one day. For instance, if the dog is happy about 10 feet, I can just put while I'm ahead. and then maybe try for nine feet the next day. We want to give time for latent learning to take effect. And we don't want to pressure the dog at all. But once the dog is fine with say nine feet and then five feet and two feet, then we can simply start just reaching for the dog. And I'm avoiding eye contact when I do this as well. After reaching, we can go ahead and try some really quick touches, but you probably don't want to go over the head yet, maybe at the chest or under the chin. And be sure to treat after each time and have a significant pause after each treat so the dog realizes that touch equals treat. You don't want to treat and touch at the same time, and you don't want to treat before touching. And once you get a positive conditioned emotional response to touching, then you could go ahead and move to something more difficult, like maybe a shoulder or a shin, and eventually just touch the feet really quick. And once the dog is happy about just quick touches, then you can move on to actually trying to handle the feet. Also, I started this video off on approaches, but some dogs might even be uncomfortable even approaching from 10 or 20 feet away. Some dogs just need to get comfortable with the human's movement. So you might even just have to sit very still, maybe lift one finger and have someone known to the dog toss a treat, then two fingers and so on. And I'll have a link to that information as well.